What's up guys, my name is Joe and in today's episode of Apple Time, I'm going to talk about how Apple is enabling developers on using both of the cameras on an iPhone, meaning the front facing and the rear facing cameras at the same time. So that opens up a lot of possibilities for future applications and developers can let their imagination go wild because it would be a really cool thing, especially, you know, if uh, we get wide angle lens on the upcoming iPhones, front facing and rear facing, we could uh, record maybe 360 videos. Who knows? This is what this episode is about. All right, so I was looking through the web like I always do every morning after I wake up and before I brush my teeth. You know what I mean. And I found this article on Redmond Pie saying iOS 13 supports simultaneous capture from multiple cameras. That means that they can use the front facing and rear facing cameras at the same time so you could record video with both of them showing, you know, like uh, your expression and the person's expression like when, you know, you're trying to do a surprise party or whatever. So, as the article says, one of the features that will arrive and is now starting to get attention is support for simultaneously capturing video, audio and photos from multiple cameras and microphones on a device. Currently, iPhones are only able to capture information from one camera and microphone, but with the new iOS 13 release this year, developers will be able to build apps that, for example, capture video from both of the front and rear facing cameras at the same time. Apple shared more information about this feature during WWDC presentation, with the example being in picture in picture video recording app that recorded the user via the front facing camera while also recording the rear facing camera at the same time. Apple also noted that developers will be able to access the depth data while all this is going on, something that probably goes some way to the fact that only recent devices will be able to support this feature. Apple says iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and iPad Pro will be able to take advantage of it. So far it doesn't appear that Apple is using this new feature in any of its own apps, although it's possible that could change ahead of an iOS 13 launch this year. Developers will be able to start getting their wares ready now, though with the first iOS beta now available for download. So, this has a lot of possibilities, what I think. It, it could be a cool new feature. Apple is allowing this, so you know, WWDC isn't only about one presentation. They have sessions for, you know, a week long and developers meet Apple execs and Apple developers and they, you know, talk about all these kind of things. Now, the thing is, uh, how seriously will developers take this or will Apple actually build it into its own camera? I would love to see that. I would love to see some updates from Apple in the camera. Maybe just give us an options button. I think that these new features will come with a new iPhone. So as we've seen previously in the years before that Apple does not show everything in iOS 13 because it keeps some of the features that will be you know, only accessible via the new iPhone. Let's say this year's iPhone is iPhone 11 and uh, it will promote it with that. Maybe iOS or maybe iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max and 10R will get it as well. As they said right now, 10s, 10s Max and 10R will get it. They're not giving much love for iPhone 10. It's an obsolete product nowadays. So I'm curious. I'm really curious on what you guys think. What do you think you could use this for? And don't forget, there's an iPhone tennis giveaway on this channel right now. All you need to do is subscribe and that's it. Once I reach 50,000 subscribers, an iPhone tennis can be yours. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, give me one, give me your thoughts down below. I really want to know. Until the next video, stay safe and hang loose.